Hi, this is Liesl from Amalize. Welcome to this short tutorial video about our ASIN reverse lookup. Have you ever wondered which keywords your competitors use and which ones drive the most revenue for them? Well, then this is where our ASIN reverse lookup will help. Let me show you how this works. First of all, you'll need to click on keywords in our menu and select our ASIN reverse lookup. After you've done that, you can choose a marketplace by clicking on the marketplace name. That leads to a drop down menu which shows all the marketplaces we're currently monitoring in MLI Shield. Once we've chosen our marketplace, we'll enter the ASINs we want to get the keywords for. Here we can also decide if we want to consider the ASINs variants or not. If so, we'll get all the keywords for all the variations we've entered. Just remember, you can only put in up to 25 ASINs at once. Now click Submit and it'll show us all the keywords that these two ASINs and all their variants are ranking for. Then on the left hand side, we have the keywords as well as their search volume, their opportunity score or the revenue share. You can also find out which keywords drive the most revenue. Of course, we can also sort by the columns such as revenue share and the keyword with the highest revenue share, Apple Watch in this case will show up at the top of our table. We can also find out which specific variant ranks for which keyword and analyze the most visible one. If you want to filter for keywords with a specific search volume, you can just enter it into our filter, click submit and get all the keywords with a minimum monthly search volume of 100, for example. We can also filter for keywords containing a certain word or phrase. For example, let's say we only want keywords which contain the word watch. Then you can click submit and it'll show you all the keywords containing watch and having at least 100 of monthly search volume. Isn't that awesome? With just a few clicks, we can find all the keywords our competitors use and rank for and narrow them down as we need. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and happy analyzing.